Growth and Development Outline Introduction Factors Influencing Growth and Development Assessment of Growth Development Milestones Adolescence Assessment of Development Introduction Normal growth is the progression of changes in height, weight and head circumference that are compatible with established standards for a given population. Understanding the normal patterns of growth enables the early detections of pathologic deviations and can prevent the unnecessary evaluation of children with acceptable normal variations in growth. An increase in size of the body and its various organs represents growth, a measure of physical maturation. Development is a measure of functional or physiological maturation and myelination of the nervous system. Factors Influencing Growth and Development Genetic Factors and Parenteral Traits Genetic Disorders Sex Race Chromosomal Disorders Multiple Gestation Pregnancy Nutritional Factors Socioeconomic Factors Chronic Diseases Prenatal and Intrauterine Factors Emotional Factors Hormonal Factors Assessment of Growth Weight On an average, ideal birth weight is around 3 kg. The newborn loses up to 10% of his weight during the first week. The infant doubles his birth weight by the age of 5 months and trebles it by 1 year. He increases it 4 times by 2 years, 5 times by 3 years, 6 times by 5 years, and 10 times by 10 years. The weight of the child is recorded nude or minimal clothing accurately with a liver or electronic type of weighing scale. Serial measurement should be done on the same weighing scale. Growth chart It is of value to have serial record of child's weight periodically on a growth chart. The chart is meant to make growth a tangible visible attribute to create a felt need, a demand for growth, to detect the earliest signs of faltering growth, to reinforce effective behavior resulting in growth, to illustrate the adverse effects of various negative events or circumstances on growth, infection, maternal deprivation, seasonal scarcity, etc. To facilitate the transfer of information to the mother, regarding means to promote growth. The growth chart is primarily meant for the mother to visualize and motivate concern for healthy growth in her child. Length or Height On an average, the ideal length for a full-term infant at birth is 50 cm. It rises to 60 cm at 3 months, 70 cm at 9 months, 75 cm at 1 year, 90 cm at 2 years, 95 cm at 3 years, and 100 cm at 4 years. With the onset of puberty, remarkable acceleration in height gain occurs. For children under 2 years, it is advisable to measure the recubement length with infantometer. In older children, standing height is measured. Make sure that the child stands comfortably with heels, buttocks, shoulders and back of the head touching the wall and the feet parallel. Growth Velocity Growth velocity is the rate at which the child grows over a period of time. Beyond the neonatal and infancy period, it is the height that is more useful as an indicator of growth. Body Ratio Upper or lower segments ratio at birth is 1.7 is to 1. 
with the greater increase in the length of the legs compared to the trunk the ratio is 1.3 is to 1 at 3 years after 7 years and usually by the age of 10 to 12 years the ratio becomes approximately 1 is to 1 span is the distance between tips of middle fingers when the arms are outstretched it is equal to height at 10 years head head circumference which represents growth of the brain measures 34 to 35 cm at birth for measuring head size place the tape over the occiput at the back and just above the supraorbital ridges in front mid forehead and measure the point of highest circumference at birth there are six fontanelles one each anterior and posterior and four lateral posterior and lateral fontanelles close fairly early usually within first few weeks anterior fontanel which is of much clinical value measures 3 multiplied by 2 cm and closes between 9 months and 18 months head and chest circumference ratio at birth head circumference is larger than chest circumference by about 2.5 cm by 6 to 12 months both are equal after first year chest circumference tends to be larger by 2.5 cm for measuring chest circumference place the tape at the level of the nipple in a plane at right angle to the spine record the measurement in mid respiration mid arm circumference Place the tape firmly but without compressing the tissues around the upper arm at a point midway between tip of the acromion and olecranon process. In preschool children, measurement less than 12.5 cm means significant malnutrition. Skin fold thickness Of the various skin folds, triceps skin fold is the most popular. It is recorded by a specialized instrument, lunges or herpendens skin fold calipers at the mid arm over triceps area on the left side. Body mass index BMI. BMI correlates well with the subcutaneous fat and the total body fat and yet allows a variation in the lean body mass. BMI remains constant. 15 to 25 kg per mt square up to the age of 5 years. A BMI greater than 25 kg per mt square points to overweight and greater than 30 kg per mt square establishes existence of obesity. A BMI less than 15 kg per mt square points to malnutrition. Dentition the average age at which first tooth erupts is 6 to 7 months. The rest of the milk, deciduous or temporary teeth appear at the rate of one tooth every month. Rarely, a baby may be born with an already erupted tooth, natal tooth. It is harmless as long as it is not loose and does not interfere with feeding. Bone age. Bone age means age as calculated from the maturation and appearance of epiphysis an average full-term newborn has the following five radiologically demonstrable ossification centers distal end of fumar proximal end of tibia talus calcaneus cuboid by the age of six months Ossification centers for carpal bones, that is, capitate and hamate, appear. Epiphyseal development of girls is consistently ahead of the boys. Development Development is defined as acquisition of qualitative and quantitative skills or competencies in a social environment. Development of the child is assessed in the following four areas. Gross motor development. It pertains to control of the child over his body and is observed in ventral suspension, 
supine, prone, sitting and standing positions. Fine motor and adaptive development. It pertains to fine coordination of eyes, hand-eye and hand-mouth and skills for manipulation with hands. Personal or social development. It pertains to interpersonal and social skills like social smile, mimicry, waving, bye-bye, etc. Language development. It pertains to hearing sounds, understanding and true speech. Milestones. Gross motor. Head or neck holding, 3 months. Sitting with support, 5 months. Sitting without support, 7 to 8 months. Standing with support, 9 months. Walking with support, 10 months. Crawling or creeping, 11 months. Standing without support, 12 months. Walking without support, 13 months. Running, 18 months. Climbing upstairs, 24 months. Riding cycle, 36 months. Fine motor. Grasping a rattle when placed in hand, 4 months. Reaching out for a bright object, intentional reaching, 5 months and grasps it with both hands, biodextrous grasp. Holding an object with crude grasp from palm, palmer grasp, 7 months. Holding a small object between index finger and thumb, 9 months. Pincer grasp. Personal or social. Social smile, 4 to 8 weeks. Recognition of mother, 3 months. Smiling at mirror image, 6 months. Waving bye-bye, 9 months. Playing a simple ball game, 1 year. Knowing gender, 3 years. Language. Turning head to sound, rattle, ball, 1 month. Cooing, 3 months. Monosyllables, ma, pa, ba, 6 months. Bisyllables, mama, papa, baba, 9 months. Two words with meaning one year. Simple sentence, two years. Telling a story, three years. Account of recent events, four years. Adolescence. During adolescence, boys and girls reach adult height and weight and undergo puberty. The timing and speed with which these changes occur vary and are affected by both heredity and environment. Physical growth. A growth spurt in boys occurs sometime between ages 12 and 17, with the peak typically between ages 13 and 15. A growth spurt in girls occurs sometime between ages 9 and a half and 14 and a half, with the peak typically between ages 11 and 13 and a half. All organ systems and the body as a whole undergo major growth during adolescence. Breasts in girls and genitals and body hair in both sexes undergo the most obvious changes. Most boys who grow slowly have a constitutional delay and catch up eventually. Sexual Maturation The age at onset and rapidly of sexual development vary and are influenced by genetic and environmental factors. The order of sexual maturation in boys. Enlargement of scrotum and penis. Lengthening of the penis. Enlargement of the seminal vesicles and prostate. Development of pubic hair. Axillary and facial hair appears about two years after pubic hair. The growth spurt usually begins a year after the testes start enlarging. Genicomasture, usually in the form of breast buds, is common among young adolescent boys and usually resolves within several years. The order of sexual maturation in girls. 
breast budding is the first visible sign of sexual maturation. Initiation of the growth spurt. Appearance of pubic and axillary hair. Menarche generally occurs about two years after onset of breast development and when growth in height slows after reaching its peak. The stages of breast growth and pubic hair development can be detailed using the Tanner method. Assessment of Development Developmental screening in a brief testing procedure designed to identify children who should receive more intensive diagnosis or assessment. The most widely used screening for detecting developmental delays in infancy and preschool years is by using Denver Developmental Screening Test DDST. For older children, 3 to 15 years, development charts can be used. A major revised, modified and standardized version of the DDST is now called Denver 2.